and unfortunately i was unable to check out this club called the school which is in amsterdam it's actually in a former school and if you know anything about old you know architecture of like old primary schools from back in the day they usually have like laminated flooring really high ceilings big windows big doors like just a great you know kind of maisonette almost kind of architecture where it's all on one floor loads of big rooms loads of natural light and you can imagine you can only imagine what the sound must have been like in there the sound system once you put a sound system into the school because i remember this one particular time when i went to like a um uh like a like a rave thing type of thing that someone put on like it was an undercover one but they housed it in a former school and i just remember the acoustics and this was somebody that it wasn't even that you know they didn't even invest that much into the sound they just had a couple of active speakers in there but i remember how warm the sound was it was literally bouncing everywhere you could feel the ground it's almost like bouncing as you was on it it just felt amazing i was like oh my god so i can only imagine how cool it must have been to be in the school and have that experience so anyway um the school's shut down now there's another club that's taken over that space called i think tilly tech um they're doing great things over there in the amsterdam scene but obviously the school's got a great history um loads of great people have come through the doors loads of legendary long sets have played there but for the most part most of those are lost to time because unless you were there you were never able to experience them well the school's actually pulled something out of the bag here by announcing that they've put together an archive amsterdam the school launches a digital archive with over 800 plus dj sets yes you heard that 800 plus dj sets all recorded from the school so people that played there they recorded the sets and they put them all up on fucking uh, this amazing website that catalogs all of the flipping sets if you want to check them out based on year they've got always starting from 2016 the launch all the way until 2024 when it closed and you have a bar here that shows you all the sets played in 2021 obviously that's around the pandemic that's why there was no sets there and i also think it closed during that whole like um council culture thing that happened i think with the bounces or something i forgot what the exact reason was for but you can basically see all the list there and and you can also search for it the normal way too if you want to search for it that way as well but there's a crazy 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 amount of flipping sets here for you to check out just in you know 2024 there's 61 there's there's already 288 already in 2023 so on and so forth so let's read the article courtesy of ra regarding this amazing treasure trove of you know of these moments that have been captured for our listening pleasure Amsterdam the school which closed early this year has launched a vast digital archive compiled in collaboration with Mixcloud archivist um, Stad Star, Stad Star Chef and Music Institute Podium Kunst Height um, Archef Heat Archef spans recordings of more than 800 sets from 2016 to 2024 among the 500 plus sets feature Honey Roxy Moore Speedy J Simo Cell Carista Identified Patient Santi Celeste Terence Dixon Elena Colombi who I know big up Elena Colombi she's fucking amazing really really one of our better DJs here in the UK well she's not really I don't think she's even from I don't think she even lives here anymore to be honest but anyway big up Elena Colombi um, and Ploy translating eight years of our history into an open-ended archive you're invited to re-enter and remember the score through the sound the club wrote on instagram het our chef is a time capsule for the present and the future as well as a testimony for the time transcending value of club culture more than anything it's a shared space for simply get lost in the music once more the school closed for good in january exactly eight years after its first opening the final party het in the um was a four-day marathon with an unannounced lineup browse instagram for the full archive and information so for me i think this is an amazing treasure trove i've long said that i would much prefer if i was to listen to audio mixes the ones i want to listen to are recorded sets from clubs but i also understand clubs not wanting to record the sets because they want people to go to the club nights um it's the same reason why a lot of clubs don't like putting out um set list of when people are going to play or time like or time you know times when they're going to play because they don't want people only to come for the main headliner they want them to come early drink get merry and obviously put some money in the till and obviously keep the lights on in the club i understand but I do think nowadays, considering how hard it is to get people out of their house, considering how difficult it is to sell tickets, considering the dearth, you know, the basically lack of clubs that are available at the moment, you have to give people an incentive to go. And I think if you're willing to let people do live streams to promote club nights, I think also recording even a portion of the set and making that available is amazing, especially with the adjustment or with the inclusion of like an atmospheric mic. Uh, big up my guy, Skinny Macho, former uh, Boiler Room guy. He's the one that kind of put me onto those things. So I remember listening or watching a boiler room set and loving the fact that you could pick up some like faint sounds of like the people in the crowd and i remember asking him and he basically said yes yeah, an atmospheric mic so i'm assuming 
with atmospheric with with an atmospheric mic it probably works the reverse of like a regular mic that you do like a mukbang on or whatever or asmr where most likely it picks up faint frequency it it picks it picks up faint frequencies and if you get the gain and the volume right you could basically have that playing in the background so you get that crackle you get that pop it's almost like how people record really good live albums where maybe through just maybe through the microphone that the singer singing through you can kind of pick up the crowd noises and i feel like that kind of adds to it because most likely in my experience anyway to see a dj the best possible way to see them is obviously in person it's almost like a band like that's a, that kind of adds another dimension to it and i feel like people's best sets or the best way to kind of get an idea if you like somebody or don't like somebody is to see them actually play and there's no better example than that than obviously seeing them uh, or hearing a fucking set for them recorded so i know a lot of clubs wouldn't want to do it maybe agents would want to do it also or maybe the djs themselves would, wouldn't want to do it because it kind of exposes them they kind of is similar a little bit to like the comedy scene um the stand-up comedy scene that i cover on my random show sometimes a common thing that's said about it is that maybe podcasts killed stand-up in that it kind of overexposed comedians and in one part an extension of that could be as well that the fact that they all record crowd work and they release some of their comedy specials on youtube it sort of takes away from the mystery and it kind of if you're really imagine if you're somebody that you didn't know you were shit for instance and then now you're suddenly putting your sets up on youtube it almost kind of like you know you almost kind of expose yourself by putting your setup on youtube because people don't realize oh shit you're not as good as you fucking look or as maybe the bookings would suggest and maybe there's some teachers out there that are the same maybe there's some teachers out there that are getting away with murder by getting these amazing gigs but they're actually terrible but nobody knows because you have to be at a show to know but they're not big enough people to care and complain about blah 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 i don't know whatever it may be either way this fucking archive is fucking amazing i wish more clubs would do it um i know fold does it to a certain extent I can't think of other clubs that do it but i'd imagine it also costs money it's also another bit of work that someone has to do blah 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 but i honestly do think if you really want to give people an onus and a need to come out um apart from set lists and everything else you're going to do interviews and other program material this is such a free easy layup especially nowadays where you can kind of record sets directly through your phone i think through uh, maybe in the record the record box or maybe there's a pioneer no, i think there's a pioneer app actually where you can plug into your phone and record the sets there are standalone recorders too you can plug in obviously you could use a zoom there's loads of things you could do to kind of record a set and use especially on on like you know high-end fucking mixes and stuff um from all the brands that usually have an output that's separate that you can record on from that doesn't fucking feed out onto the main feed but like i said i think i might actually try as well when i next go to pirate um getting a, maybe if i can't get an atmospheric mic just getting one of my mics and just making sure the gain is like super super low so it can pick up maybe faint hits so you can maybe hear me in the background whistling and going fucking crazy maybe i have to mute it if i'm you know sniffing something but apart from that i think it's fucking incredible um loads of great sets on there there's actually a dixon set on here from i think 2017 that's like seven hours long so if you just search on this list you'll find all the sets that you need so there's dixon here there's actually terrence dixon there's obviously dixon from 2017 there's a party he played here in 20 fucking 17 and it features a seven hour set from fucking dixon so you could obviously play that oh you can leave comments too wow amazing all right that's brilliant to see so you can check that out um, and but the set I've been listening to that I was playing in the gym was this set courtesy of David Vunk somebody that I actually found or discovered via Boiler Room and those old the Deck Mantle sets man like it's such a piss take that Boiler Room isn't collaborating with Deck Mantle anymore because we miss out on a lot of sets from Deck Mantle now I think they're collaborating now with Hor but Hor are kind of like you know I don't know what's going on with them I don't know if they're not doing it anymore but they're kind of in and out they're going through that weird cancellation because people discovered that they were you know um, maybe you know a little bit too fond of Israel um, but in general we miss a lot of the sort of deck mental vibes now that boiler room's gone and one of the great discoveries i had was david vunk and this particular set i'm listening to from 2019 um from the 5th of july 2019 david vunk uh, who played that fucking discord and it's an absolute banger i've been playing this so fucking hard actually i think i might actually leave a comment on this actually because this is what legitimately has been one of my favorite 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 so yeah so big up um big up flipping the school great to flip and see i recommend you check it out um the website link i'll put in the description for you so you can see it yourself but it's an amazing trove of flipping great sets all recorded from the clubs and like i said like if you're like me and you're not a fan of listening to dj sets because they sound a bit boring sometimes i think the best bet is to obviously listen to live streams or watch dj live streams such as the ones that are available on there and the ones that are available on my own channel as well persistence radio over there on youtube and obviously other platforms like boiler room 
Encore and all the other places like Book Club and shit. But another thing to listen to if you can't listen to sets is to listen to live recorded sets in the club because you get the energy, the vibe, the vive that you would get if you were actually in there yourself. So definitely check it out. Definitely check it out. It's an absolute amazing treasure trove of great things to see.